I'm Pastor Trisha, and I welcome you to our meaningful meditation for this coming Sunday, uh, November 13th. And we are fortunate that we're still outside. Beautiful day. We wanted to especially highlight the yellow uh, mums behind me. I wish you could smell them when you come to worship on Sunday. Take that time to walk by and appreciate them, um, the goodness. And that's really what we're talking about as we continue our series entitled Together in November and wondering about how can we best be the church together and in this text uh, Paul is talking to those at Thessalonica uh, in this second Thessalonians chapter 3 about how they can be the church together there's some despair because they're not all getting along and he's really stressing to them the importance of working together and in verse 13 he says never grow weary of doing good and he talks about how important it is to be an example for others. Uh, he kind of brings up that perhaps not everybody is doing their part. There's some discussion about being lazy or idle. And so we're gonna unpack that. And also I wanted to share today a thought that I really think connects with this. It's a story from history when a ship came here. It was called Arabella and this was in 1630 and a group of um, new residents to America came to live here. And John Winthrop was their leader. And he said to them, we shall be a city upon a hill. The eyes of all people are upon us. Really stressing to them that people were gonna be watching them and that they had this need, um, expectation really, to be a good example and model to those around them. So when we think about people watching us and how we can best love them and express to them um, their beauty and the ways that they can also be a part of this beautiful kingdom that God has created for us, it's really a sense of being connected to each other and always stressing that um, that this world is not just about you know us individually, but how we as the church can be together uh, a beautiful community. So that's what we're going to be talking about some more on Sunday. Uh, we also are looking forward to a week from Sunday when we have our harvest feast after church on the 20th. And so we are encouraging people to call into the office or to email the office to let us know that you're going to be able to join us. And then two weeks from this Sunday uh, is the first Sunday of Advent, if you can believe that, on November 27th. And we will have uh, our service in the morning, beautiful time together at 10 a.m. And then that evening, we will have an Advent prayer service. Our labyrinth will have candles and be lit at five o'clock. So I encourage you to come and join us for that. And then at 5.30, we'll have a service together inside uh, and then a catered meal after that. So lots of things happening as we think about this beautiful month of November and wanna wish you uh, joy for your journey as you continue on on this path of faith, amen.